Hi, my name is Rod Martin, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. In this video, I want to talk about conditional content in your Joomla website. This is a really interesting concept, personalizing the content on your website based on conditions. So I'm here at regularlabs.com slash extension slash conditional content. And what this plugin can do for you is to show text to registered users, hide content in December, display message for mobile users only, hide an image or show an image every Monday, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Conditional content allows you to hide or show content in a Joomla article or module based on all kinds of parameters. There is a free version and a pro version. The free version allows you to set conditions based on menu items, the homepage, date, languages, access levels, user groups, and devices. And the pro version gives you even more seasons, months, days, time, Joomla content, tags, users, components, templates, URLs, operating systems, browsers, IP addresses, geolocating, and even custom PHP, so literally any condition you want to set. All right, let's take a look and see how this works. I've set this up on my demo site. It installs like any other Joomla extension. And I've created an article and a module. And as you can see, I'm logged out. And I'm using Safari. In my module, I'm using Safari. And I'm a visitor. Well, let's see how this works. I'm going to quickly log in. And here's what it looks like when I'm actually logged in. I'm using Safari. And this is content for Tuesday, which it is today. A single article, which I'm on and I'm logged in as a super administrator. Let's take a look and see how this works. Here, show browsers equals Safari. You're using Safari, else you're using Chrome. And indeed, here in Chrome, I get the Chrome message as well. The second element there has three conditions. Show days is Tuesday, access level is super user, and content page types equals article. Now, don't worry about complexity of these conditions. Let me show you how it works. All right, so I'm going to insert a new one here, conditional content. And once again, we're going to base this on just a couple of parameters. You're using Safari. Once again, I can either show or hide based on the condition. And if I want, I can show alternative content. And the conditions, well, again, I can make them matching all conditions or any condition. We'll match all conditions. Let's make it Tuesday. And my browser is Safari. If you're new to regular labs extensions, this screen can be pretty intimidating, but it's exactly the same as Advanced Module Manager as well. Click Insert. There's my code. Click Save. And here we are. I'm using Safari. And I'm not using Safari. So with conditional content, then you can show or hide all kinds of content based on any conditions that you want to set. Well, thanks for watching today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin. Please like and subscribe as always, and we'll see you next time.